These killer plants can grow big enough to eat much larger prey than ants and insects. Mostly found in the tropical jungles of Asia, Australia and Madagascar, these Nepenthes have found a way to take on much larger prey than other carnivorous plants like the Venus flytrap. Named for their long, jug-like trap, pitcher plants don't have to rely on rapid movement to make their kills. For these killer plants, it's all about creating the perfect, inescapable trap. The pitcher trap consists of several specialized structures, each with its own part to play in securing a meal. The brightly colored pitcher rim stands out amid the green foliage of the jungle and overhangs a steep drop down into the bottom of the plant. Sweet nectar is produced by the plant as an added attractive factor to lure in prospective prey. In most species, an elongated lid covers the pitcher's opening, sheltering it from heavy rain and protecting the digestive juices at the bottom of the plant from being diluted. Should an unfortunate victim be attracted to the Nepenthes' sugary nectar and the bright colors of its rim, it could be in for a sudden fall from grace. With no moving plant parts involved in the kill, it's the incredibly slippery surface of the rim and the inner walls of the plant which cause prey to fall in. Crumbly wax crystals on the plant's surface increase the chances that insects will lose their footing whilst downward-pointing cells on the inner wall of the plant don't allow prey to gain a foothold and climb back out. For those who slip in, it's a likely one-way trip down to the plant's digestive juices, which are pooled below. The slippery properties of pitfall traps and other plants are so incredible that they have inspired synthetic self-cleaning surfaces which repel contaminants. Pitcher plants come in a range of different shapes and sizes, from miniature versions to huge giants, which take on much larger prey. Some have been found which have stems up to six meters long, whilst others have traps which are more than 40 centimeters deep and can hold two liters of flesh-digesting liquid. Whilst most of these meat-eating plants feast on ants, flies, and insects, in the tropical forests of Borneo, the giant Nepenthes raja has been documented to have trapped and killed rats. Whilst new Nepenthes species continue to be discovered, others have fallen into extinction. Many, including the Nepenthes raja, are under threat and are currently on the endangered red list. Human-caused habitat loss is a familiar story in the decline of our green planet and it's also a threat to these amazing carnivorous plants.